Welcome to Chatty Pros. Are you talking company network plus perform lab 2.1.8 reconnecting to Ethernet network? You're in the right place. In this tutorial, we walk through all the steps to solve a scenario and complete data efficiently, making it so easy that even your dog will be able to understand. By the end of this video, you will confidently handle tasks like replacing a network card, connect to the local network, and verifying the fix. Let's waste no time and dive right in. Here's a scenario. You're a network technician for a small corporate network. The employee in Office 2 reports they can no longer communicate with other workstations on the local network or the internet. After troubleshooting, you determine that the built-in network card in the workstation has stopped working. These are the steps we'll cover to complete this log. Select and install a new network card that provides the fastest Ethernet available on the cards you currently have in the office. Connect the workstation to the local network using existing cable. After the fix has been implemented, confirm the workstation has a connection to the local network and the internet. So our mission for this lab is to install a new network card, reconnect the workstation to the network using the existing cable, and to verify the connection. All right, let's jump into step one, selecting and installing the fastest network card available. Head over to the network adapters tab. This will be at the top left right below the shelf and cables tab. Click the network adapters tab so we can see the adapters we have available. These are the adapters we have to work with right here. To complete the first step, we need to know the speed of the different NIC cards. Both 10 base 2 and 10 base T NIC has a speed of 10 megabits per second. 10 base 2 is a coaxial cable based Ethernet, while 10 base T is a twisted peer based Ethernet. The 100 base TX NIC has a speed of 100 megabits per second. This is a twisted peer Ethernet. The 1000 base TX has a speed of 1000 megabits per second, or in other words, 1 gigabit per second, and is Ethernet using twisted peer cables. All the other options are modem, and for this lab, what we need is a network interface card, not a modem. In this lab, we're going to use the 1000 base TX PCIe network adapter. This provides a speed of 1 gigabits per second, which is a fast option available for this setup. The network interface card should be connected to the PCIe slot on the motherboard. So to begin, select the motherboard view above the computer, on the top left of the screen to the right of the front and back button. This gives us access to the internal component. This right here is what we call the motherboard. Next, on the shelf, expand the network adapters. Here you see a list of available adapters. Click the Tulsa Base TX network adapter. Now we need to drag it to the open PCI slot on the motherboard. The PCI slot is located on the bottom left side of the motherboard. This right here. Click and drag the network interface card to the PCI slot. When you see the blue highlight, release. And there you have it. The network interface card is installed and ready for action. Now that the network card is installed, we need to connect the workstation to the network. Set the back button above the computer to view the port on the back panel. Head over to the shelf tab at the top left. On the shelf, you will see the cables tab. Click it. This is a list of all the cables we have available to us. This lab specifically instructs us to use existing cables, so that's what we'll do. Close the cables tab and head back over to the workspace. We can see the CAT6A cable right here. We need to connect it to the port on the new 1000 base TX network adapter. Click on it and drag it to the PCI slot down here. When you see the blue highlight, release. Great. The workstation is now physically connected to the network. The final step is to confirm the connection. Select front above computer to access the power button. Click the power button to power on the computer and wait for the operating system to boot up. Now that our computer has booted up, it's time to check if you are connected to the network. To do this, locate the start window in the center at the bottom of the screen. This right here. Right click start, select setting, and then look for and click the network and internet. Here you should see an active network connection, confirming that the workstation is back in line and connected to the internet. And that's it. In just a few steps, replace the field network card, reconnect it to the network, and verify the connection. Whether you're preparing for a company network plus exam or troubleshooting in real life, these skills are invaluable. If this story will help you, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for a more step-to-step -to -step tech guide. See you in the next video.